Warning, parental advisory, this review is steamy. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another review. <laughs> Don't mind the intro, I'm being a little stupid. Today we're taking a look at the Rapido steam heater car. And this is a car that is basically the predecessor to HEP, head in power. This provided needed heat to the rest of the consist back in the day. It was introduced in the diesel era to provide steam heat to passenger trains because uh, heat couldn't be provided from locomotives like, they, like it can today. Uh, electricity and heat nowadays is all in the HEP. But anyway, this is a... Uh, going to be a really cool review so let's take a look at what you get in the box and I believe these were recently re-released the first release did not have sound but Rapido did something a little interesting because you saw the MSRP and you're like how, how they do sound they they have their own chip now so that uh, they could provide sound to us for a good price so this is the exploded parts diagram if you ever miss a part, lose a part, you can coordinate or correlate with that uh, number and get a hold of Rapido to order. So I've got a parts bag here. And then the car itself. And I really wish I had my collection together, uh, but right now it's still in boxes somewhat to be able to do a run by on this. But we'll, we'll manage with this alone. Here is the car. So let's take a closer look. One other piece of paperwork you get with this is both in French and English. You have some information on the car that I may or may not read to sound important and the magic wand which actually controls the lighting of this. But let's look at the car itself. So you've got some hatches that adorn the top along with two compartments there you can see clearly two porthole windows on the side crew access handrails to get into the steam generator and separately applied grabs there as well on the end you get a little drop step there are metal mcdonald cartier couplers there is a hose you can see that appears to be separately applied it's Kind of messing with my eyes, it's hard to tell. They might have molded it in and painted it. You see the light here? That is controlled with the magnetic wand, and that's a backup light. So it does work, and it's controlled with the magnetic wand. But you see another crew access here with even a little molded in door handle. And the metal couplers we just talked about. Separate airline and brake line hosing, or hoses. And you see steam generator on the side, Union Pacific on the side, number 302. So more portholes and kind of a mirrored image on this side with a couple of variations. But the print's nice. And the color's about spot on as well. See the brake wheel on this side. And some more detail you see the brake chain coming down under and it's just adorned with underbody detail as well that's kind of repeat staple as you see there just the underbody details insane always made me wonder how those things run but they do and they do a pretty good job navigating curves and such I don't think this would have any problem on slightly tighter curves uh, I don't see the specs on that so I apologize but you can see the detailed under frame for sure now this was uh, accurately measured from both blueprints and going out in the field so I got a pretty good measurement of this thing and I don't know if they use their their scanning thingy they have on this necessarily but Rapido is known for having this really expensive equipment that just captures the real thing prototype and gets a good accurate dimension 
on the whole thing. All right, I'm going to set this on the track and see what happens here. You hear the sounds. I don't think there's any control over them, but it does operate on DC and DCC. There is a volume control feature. Uh, you can do that by removing the hatch on the top of the roof, which is close to the brake wheel. Uh, and basically the hatch is held onto the roof with magnets. You can aid in uh, changing the sound that way. So it's just closest to the brake wheel. They said if it's not that one, try the other one. But yep, sure enough, that pops off there. Give you the bird's eye view of adjusting the volume and such inside there. If you look closely, you'll even see a lift ring detail on this car, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and test out the magnetic wand, which again operates the lighting. All right, it took me a couple seconds, but there you can see. The backup lights have been activated by the wand and looks pretty good. Wonder, hey, it's got a little bit of a stay steady. I just, just, just interrupted track power completely, but rolling down the tracks, it did stay steady. Okay, NMRA compliance, the wheels are good. They did that off camera. Checking a couple of heights now. It's looking uh, looking low there, definitely. I'll check the other side. Sometimes it's as simple as tightening up. Sometimes you have to make adjustments by adding washers. This does not want to go on there. Okay, we're low on that end as well. So. Probably use some tightening up on the coupler height. All right, let's see how fast this goes. 97 miles an hour. That is one fast steam generator car. Now, I'm just kidding. This is not powered, so it doesn't have any uh, ability to go by itself. This is to be pulled by a consist. I was just playing, but it did show you that it is very free rolling, so it's not going to weigh down or bog down your passenger fleet at all it will roll freely, no problems. Well, that's gonna wrap up our look at the Rapido HO scale steam heater car. This being a Union Pacific version. I think the most impressive thing about this model, the price. You get sound, but you're under $100, which is insane. Uh, depending on which brick and mortar hobby shop or online retailer wants to sell it to you, you may get quite a good deal. So it's really, uh, that kind of drives this thing home. All you got to do is adjust some couple of heights, which is probably 95% of the models we review here. It rolls freely. It has nice detail. The underbody's insane. So I think it's, gosh, if there's an award for uh, most valuable model, this may be it. But we've got a long road ahead in 2022, so we'll see what comes out. But maybe uh, that'll be the next People's Choice Award or something like that. So Rapido just won the People's Choice Awards for most uh, detailed HO passenger cars so they definitely know what they're doing here and I thank all the people for voting on that with that said thanks for watching and we will see you next time sorry no run by getting all the models out of the boxes the layout will be up and within a couple of weeks we will have double mainline 300 feet of running so it'll be pretty sweet thanks for watching we'll see you next time right here on the channel take care